Okay guys, as you can see, this is a trailer build video. Won't be any flying in this one. But uh, yeah, the trailer's been coming along good over the past couple months. Uh, I've been taking a lot of pictures and video and trying to put something together to put on YouTube. So that's what this is gonna be about. You're about to see all those clips and uh, the showing you how I built it and uh, the steps and kind of the design. I almost, I designed it and then kind of changed it as I went and a lot of things changed, but it turned out good. Um, just down to the nitty gritty on it now and it's almost ready to use. So excited to share that with you guys. If you have any ideas for uh, what I have left to do on it, let me know. And uh, yeah, here it is. Alright guys, so here's the update on the trailer build. Actually building two of these at the same time. Um, one's for Jeff's cold, one's for my uh, Firefly over there. Uh, slight differences, this is a little bit wider. He's going with a little bit different in the front. Um, but that's the beauty of it, we can build them however we want because we're making them from scratch. So you can see, Basically what I'm doing here is trying to make a lightweight enclosed trailer because the enclosed trailer we had was like 3,000 pounds and we're carrying these, you know, 250 pound planes in them. So, so overkill. So making them out of this uh, nice aluminum and uh, got the basic floor and shape down. Obviously there's going to be a whole lot of bracing going up and down on the sides to give it the strength because this material is uh, pretty small so it's not going to have the rigidity for that length. But once it's all braced up and we got the whole thing ready to go, it's going to work super good. So we'll let you know and I'll show you the finished product. There it is. A lot of welding. Oh, and uh, to weld this, I'm actually using a Harbor Freight uh, titanium. Uh, I think this is a 170. Oh yeah, make 170 in the front there with a spool gun attachment. And man, I'll tell you what, this thing has been working really good for Harbor Freight. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the welds, the way they're turning out. Uh, I think they'll be plenty strong for what we're doing and can't beat the price of this welder. Uh, I think it was like 500 bucks or something and I use it for everything, but kind of self-taught myself to use a spool gun and got the right gas for it and we're off to the races here, so. We'll give you the update soon. trailer first time uh, the plane is in the trailer where the trailer is on the wheels I just got the plywood lane in there just for testing nothing's fastened yet so it looks a little loose but uh, it works and the tongue weight seems pretty good everything uh, fits in there as it should I'm gonna probably add some reinforcements under the floor so it's not just laying on plywood in between the trusses but uh, I'm pretty happy with it. The uh, the door works. The, the plywood's just laying on the door as well. I got a C-clamp down there just to make this little clip. But uh, yeah, we're there. So 
Next is going to come covering the trailer. Uh, might use boat shrink wrap, shrink wrap. We might use uh, aluminum. Whatever we can get for a good deal. Uh, this trailer has only cost me probably under $500 to build so far. So I don't know if I want to put $1,000 in skin on it and with aluminum. But maybe we will eventually. But the whole idea was light and not a parachute behind my Jeep. So I made mine slope down in the front. And basically the idea is the whole back of this is matching the back of my Jeep. So there's not like a brick wall of wind drag on the highway. So I'll be able to pull this all over the place and have fun. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. Not done yet, but very close. A lot of work, a lot of welding, but I'm happy with it. Things gonna weigh under 500 pounds, and I'm gonna use it to move this plane around, and uh, all kinds of stuff.